Well, Prince Harry and Meghan's multi-million dollar deal with Netflix has been dealt a bit of a blow with a big project cancelled. Oh, for more, we're joined by mm -hmm. entertainment editor Peter Ford. What's happened, Pete? Is this the beginning of the end? So Netflix have cancelled this animated series that Meghan Markle was executive producer oh. of and also David Furnish, Elton's husband, was also executive producer of it. This was an animated show about her childhood. Now, it was in pre-production, so they hadn't actually gone into full production. Now, to be very clear, though, to be fair, there's a whole bunch of other shows that Netflix have also cancelled. I think about 15 or 16 other projects. But what it does indicate, I think, is that Meghan and Harry are not off limits. So you'd have to wonder about this massive deal they have with Netflix if the proverbials hitting the, flan, the fan in at Netflix, they're going to look at that deal and say, what are we getting in return? You know, forking out a million bucks a week for these two, what are we getting in return? So I think that's going to be one to watch. Uh, meanwhile, talking about Prince Harry, this crowd that he's involved in called Better Up, employees <laughs> at that organisation. Now, it's not a charity, it's not a not-for-profit, it's a business. They're saying they're not happy about Prince Harry being involved and all the money that he's being paid, because they say it's now filtering down that all the cost-cutting and their own wages are being cut back so as to subsidise having Prince Harry on the books. Oh. OK, stormy seas ahead. Hey, Pete, yep. meanwhile, uh, Robbie Williams has paid tribute to his late friend Shane Warne. Yeah, this was terrific. And so what Robbie did, he was doing these two concerts in Melbourne over the weekend and he invited all of Shane Warne's kids to be there and they were there and they loved it. And in it, he started up, Robbie started up a chanting of Warney, Warney, got the crowd going. Mm -hmm. And Jackson was there. He filmed the whole thing on his camera. He's put it up onto his Instagram. Let's have a look at Jackson Warne's social media. Warney, Warney. Isn't that lovely? What a lovely moment created for, for Shane's family. That's and beautiful. Looks like he sort of took a bow in their direction as well, Pete. Lovely. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah what a great bloke, Robbie Williams. Yeah. Uh, finally, Priscilla Presley has weighed in on the Elvis biopic. That was the one that's been shot um, on the Gold Coast, right? Yeah, shot yeah. on the Gold Coast and having a premiere up there in a few weeks' time. And when I spoke to Priscilla a few weeks ago, she was super excited about the project. She hadn't seen the movie, but what Baz did was set up a private screening for her to go and see it. And she's raving about it. She's taking it to her social media absolutely full of praise for every aspect of it. The performances, the direction by Baz. Now, cynically, you'd say, well, isn't she going to do that? Because this project, although Priscilla herself has not been hands-on in any way, the estate of Elvis Presley has endorsed the project, so obviously mm. it's to their benefit to hype it up. But, you know, we've seen the trailer ourselves, and you know anything Baz does always looks extraordinary. So a lot of people very eager to see the finished product. Yeah, Baz meets Elvis, I'm in for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much, Pete. We'll talk to you thank again. Thank you.